initiative requirement? Yes, yeah, that is uh, an initiative that I'm leading on, and what it would basically say is that before you get a taxpayer subsidized benefit, whether it be health care or welfare related or I'm trying to think of some of the other ones, a driver's license, before you get any government taxpayer subsidy, you should be a legal citizen of our nation. Right, I see one of them that's already been passed is the tuition fees for right. it. So you can go back and eliminate some of these things, some of, the, uh, uh, some of these bills that have already been applied to illegal immigrants? Yeah, what we probably have to do there is, uh, should, should mention two different issues. One is the bill that I just mentioned that I'm kind of a sponsor of, or the author of. It would, it would again, require citizenship before you get a government uh, subsidy or tax entitlement. Some, some, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of benefits already go to individuals that are not legal citizens of our nation. Mm -hmm. And the, the bill would um, proactively stop it, and then we would have to work back at, at taking away those that are already in place. Do you have a lot of support from your fellow uh, uh, legislative people for this bill? Uh, unfortunately, not a lot. I mean, it's kind of politically incorrect mm -hmm. to suggest that we should have to be legal citizens, <laughs> believe it or not. It is. It is. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, you know, in, in Dane County, two years ago or whatever, they specifically said their county workers, regardless of federal law says that you have to be a legal citizen of this nation before you can get a benefit from the county, they made it a resolution at the Dane County level that their workers cannot inquire about citizenship. And so they're basically violating federal law by doing that, and they're getting away with it. Is there something that we as citizens can stand up and, and help you do this? I mean, personally, I feel that if you don't pay for the system, you have no right to pay for the system. Is there something that we can do to help you, uh, not that we persuade people, but to make our voices more known that, you know, personally, I look at, I listen to a lot of news and think that our country is thinking. And one of the reasons is because the money, all the money that's going out and not coming in. So if we stand up and say, okay, people, we really need to think about what we're doing. Um, you know, we may have to sacrifice illegal aliens to save the rest of the country. Is there somehow we can stand up and, and say something, do something? Well, just even saying it here, probably is not good. Enough, yeah. Yeah. Well, no. And then <laughs> encouraging me, encouraging me behind my efforts and other legislators who support that, and then working to try to, you know, get moral legislative support for that. And. Um, Again, it, it's unfortunately just caught in this whole politically correct kind of mentality that's kind of reigning over our society right now. There are and I would people that are of rethinking the politically correct right. idea. Right. Yep. Well, because I, I would say that instead of then, you know, uh, making decisions based on what's, what's right economically or in principle, we're kind of letting this emotion come into it, and that's kind of what it's all about. And that, that's wrong. And I, again, I just, I don't think it's wrong to, first of all, establish a better system at the federal level of government that deals with immigration. That whole system is so messed up. And a lot of people that are here illegally are here because of our government failing to have a system to allow them to get processed appropriately and to work through that process. Um, but having said that, we shouldn't, um, 